Reusable water bottles are there for it all. You bring one to work, the gym, soccer practice, and on hikes through the Grand Canyon. At this point, it's as essential as your cell phone and car keys when you leave the house in the morning. It may seem like water bottles have always been in our kitchen cabinets, but they're less than 10 years old. Wet your whistle and get ready to explore the fascinating history of this must-have drinkware. Start from 4000 BC. Ancient civilizations kept their drinking water in large casks or urns. These were extremely heavy to transport and often required more than one person to carry. 1070. People in medieval societies drank from water skins made from animal hide. These containers, which were also referred to as water bladders, were particularly useful at storing wine for knights in battle. 1596. Sir John Harrington designed the first flushing toilet for his godmother, Queen Elizabeth I. This allowed water to flow freely from pipes, which changed the way we accessed our drinking water in the future. 1,800 seconds. Bottles were crafted from clay or stone and were used to hold gin or whiskey from local distillers. People didn't quite realize yet that alcohol isn't as hydrating as water. 1,900 seconds. Farmers kept their cool in the fields with glass water bottles. These could be filled up by iron industrial pumps that were mounted above the water wells in rural areas. 1914-1945. Soldiers stayed hydrated with reusable canteens made from enameled steel. These containers held roughly two pints and were covered in felt that made them easier to carry. 1947. Plastic water bottles became popular after World War II. At first they were expensive, but that all changed in the 1960s when manufacturers started using cheap polyethylene plastic. Late 1940s early 1950s. Aluminum was used to create water bottles specifically for bicyclists. Colorol has remained one of the most popular brands with its elegant design and cork stopper. 1950 seconds. Stainless steel water bottles were mass-produced in the United States. This material was said to be more durable and healthier to drink from than plastic or aluminum. 1960 seconds. Polyethylene started being used in water bottles. This material is affordable, lightweight, and easy to shape into fun designs like the Homer Simpson water bottle pictured here. 1964. Thermos competed with other manufacturers by offering a reusable water container in their lunchboxes. These bottles were decorated with cartoon characters or popular movie and television stars. 1960s-1990s Companies like Coca-Cola started printing their logos on water bottles and using them to advertise. This bottle was found in Switzerland during the Tour de France in 1992. 1985 Etz Express became the first promotional products vendor dedicated to strictly drinkware. The company prides itself on exceptional screen printing and an amazing product selection. 1994. Robert Heiberger and Judy Amabel started Polar Bottle from their garage in Colorado. The goal was to bring cyclists a bottle that could withstand long rides. 2006. Yeti was started in Austin, Texas. This brand is known for not only their long-lasting, high-end outdoor coolers, but also their extra cool water bottles. 2010. Sarah Krause became one of the top female entrepreneurs in the world thanks to Swell. These metal water bottles are stylishly designed and feature triple-walled technology. 2016. Gatorade upgraded their classic squeeze bottles to more advanced models. These smart water bottles feature LED lighting that reminds athletes when it's time to rehydrate. 2018. Parley for the Oceans, a nonprofit in New York, teamed up with Starbucks to create eco-friendly water bottles. The bottles are made from repurposed ocean debris that is melted down into small pet pellets. 2020. A company named Lark released the first self-cleaning water bottles, selling about 75,000 during their first week at Nordstrom and Bloomingdale's. You'll never have to clean your water bottles by hand again thanks to these bottles. Thank you.